going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and I'm here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers news. Now the news just keeps coming in. There's article after article and I mean this one is actually going to be a bit of a doozy. Now it involves our daddy Sakurai and it's in terms of him making a future Smash Brothers game. The main thing is that this one took a lot out of him because he said that developing two games at the same time was kind of detrimental for him. Not only in the field of his health but in the state of his well-being, his mental state, everything. The game kind of worked him down to the bone. So when asked, you know, are you going to make another Smash, obviously his answer was somewhat ominous. Let's take a look at this article from CVG Gaming and um, let's just see exactly what Daddy Sakurai says in his own words. So Smash Brothers creator says he's unlikely to make another game in this series. Sakurai suggests that if the series goes on, it will be without him. So Smash Brothers creator Masahiro Sakurai has suggested that the recently released Smash Brothers for Wii U will be his final game in the series. I can't positively declare that there will be another Smash game, he told Game Informer. With Melee and Brawl, I made those games with the thought that there wouldn't be more sequels. Thus, I really can't deny the chance for another. However, as for myself, I don't think that there will be. Sakurai explains that this was down to his belief that the Wii U and 3 massive undertakings and making more games in the series would require equal if not greater effort to keep fans happy and like I said earlier those games did require a lot of resources some people may think that it's easy to just copy and paste character models but he says he didn't and I believe him that to remake everything from the bottom up whenever you make a new game it's absolutely crazy and I, I definitely don't blame him for taking that stance with it and you know consider the time you know Right now, Sakura, I mean, excuse me, I was about to say Sakahiro. Masahiro Sakurai is currently in his 40s, or if he's not 40, in fact, I want to know this for a fact. Masahiro Sakurai age. Just so we know, okay. Damn, Daddy Sakurai is 44 years old. He is technically old enough to be my dad. <laughs> but I mean, oh, and it's got everyone else's years too. Um, Miyamoto 62, Iwata's 54, Reggie's 53. Damn, he's... He is some old dudes right here, but I mean, Daddy Sakurai is 44. Considering that there's one Smash Brothers game per generation of Nintendo consoles, the chance that he will probably still be in his game making prime by the time the next gen Nintendo console comes around is not exactly too likely. I mean, consider that, you know? By the time the next Nintendo console comes around, probably by maybe the end of its lifetime or somewhere in the middle of its lifetime, we will get a new Smash game. That could be in seven years, six years, five years. Either way, it's gonna be a long time from now, and by then, Sakurai will most likely undoubtedly be in his 50s. Can you still make a game in your 50s? Look at Miyamoto, but I mean, still. Anyway, so, um, our intention with Smash Wii U was to provide extra merits to the game, which go far beyond the sale price. In terms of scope and in terms of sheer number of characters, we went beyond our limits long ago. And um, considering that DLC is going to be involved with this bitch, I mean, Mewtwo and whatnot, he definitely did. I mean, if this game is the last game in the Smash Brothers franchise, then I think that he ended it with a bang because DLC is now a possibility. We can get characters released later on, and that kind of makes the idea of a new game sort of null and void. Considering that they can release DLC, patches, and characters, why do we need a new Smash Brothers game? What will the next Smash Brothers do that the current Smash Brothers can't? That's the question, my friends. Because consider this, I mean, really think about this. New Smash games usually bring out character balances, new characters, and um, updates to fighting styles, which can all be done via DLC with Smash Brothers Wii U, as we've seen actually take place with character balances like Luma, um, we can, we can see that with character nerfs. It's crazy. So, I mean, there's technically no need for a new Smash Bros. game unless the game will take advantage of better hardware from future Nintendo um, consoles. But, of course, there will most likely be a new Smash game because you can't have one Smash on a Wii U forever while we're in three generations in the future for a new Nintendo console, you know? So there isn't going to probably be a new one. But, I mean, this one kind of gets the fundamentals down pat. While Sakurai said he's unlikely to make another Smash Brothers, he has not ruled out the possibility of someone else taking charge of the series. He would never let anyone take charge of his baby. Daddy Sakurai, man, I'm sorry, this guy has a lot of gall to him. However, he did warn that it would not be easy for a potential successor to make a game that offers more than the Wii U version. And like, I just explained to you guys the reasons why the Wii U version is probably going to be the best Smash game. and will not be able to be outdone by any other Smash game because it comes with all the fundamentals. You can say all the effort in the past to stretch out, keep pushing myself, and provide all these extra merits wound up tightening the noose around my neck in the future. 
That's a re Daddy Sakurai has a real tendency to be ominous whenever he's in these interviews, man. He uses some dark language sometimes. Uh, the noose around my neck. Like, he, he doesn't fuck around, man. This may seem like it contradicts my personal desire to keep giving gamers as much as I can, but I don't see any easy answer for it. And yet, despite that, I also have trouble picturing someone else taking my place and providing all this value-added content without me. I don't see it! Daddy Sakurai, it's easy. All you gotta do is take yourself a youth potion and you'll be fine. You'll be able to keep making Smash Brothers. The fans will be happy because no one, I don't think anyone, or maybe someone, but no one will be able to uphold that quality that you put into all of your games while maintaining that Smash Brothers feel, you know? I don't know if anyone else can do it. Apparently his wife makes the menus for Smash Brothers. How do you... <sighs> Anyways, what do you guys think about Sakurai? Probably not making another Smash game after this one. Was this his legacy right here in Smash Wii U? So this is Final Curtain Call. I don't know guys, I mean, I really don't want it to be, but it seems like he's already embraced the thought that it most likely is, and um, I guess we should get used to that thought as well too. I already can hear some of you guys saying in the comments, well, you know, Smash is in balance with Sakurai behind it, Project M, fucking nigga. Yeah, I, I understand Project M is a viable option, but you know, still, at the end of the day here, Sakurai, this is his baby, and the stuff that he comes out with, even though sometimes it may be a bit on the broken side or on balance, it still comes with that natural Sakurai feel, and that's something that Project M will probably never be able to capture. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.